thing out of there. Now you watch, you're gonna be coming, someone's gonna drop. Hey guys, this is Brian, uh, host, editor, E-Factor Outdoors. Um, today's video is, it's uh, antlerless gun season in Illinois. This is back when they first opened up um, this late antlerless only season. And I uh, just wanted to show you the, the gun I was using. This is, uh, this is my youngest boy, by the way, Paxton. And interesting fact, in this video, you will hear us talking about the fact that my wife needs to go take a pregnancy test because we have a, a strong feeling that she might be pregnant with my fourth kid. And uh, as you can see, sitting here in my lap, Mr. Paxton, that came true. So that was kind of funny, kind of kind of cool to go back and watching these old videos and um, seeing these things. So, Paxi, you want to give me a high five, buddy? All right. And uh, so this is the gun I was using in this video. It's a Mossberg 500. Um, really a cheap gun. I think I paid 300 bucks for it. I had a, a combination slug barrel and field barrel. Um, it came with this little 2.5x 20 scope. Uh, everything that just came on it, and I just put it together. I did. I bought a strap for it. I put these little uh, this little deal that holds the shells on the end of it, and uh, I'll show you the the bullets, the bullets, the shells I use. Paxi, you're getting squirmy, aren't you, bud? You're gonna be a big hunter one day, aren't you? Like your brother. His brother is eight years old and goes deer hunting with me. It's his second year and he's killed three deer. I bet he's gonna kill a, a third deer this year and his fourth deer. Anyway, that's you guys stay tuned. You'll see that. But so the 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 ammo I'm using it's a uh, Winchester Gold Partition three inch shell. Um, this bullet I've found is a great combination of of uh, penetration and uh, speed coming out of the gun meaning how far is it gonna shoot before it starts dropping off basically um, shooting into four by four blocks this guy just penetrated through and did the best out of all the ones that I shot um, again that's the Winchester partition gold partition something like that um, I'll try to put a picture of the box up on the screen for you so without further ado um, the first part of this video is part one, which you're watching right now, and th that's gonna be, um, uh, we're sitting on the ground, and uh, we we just did like a little buddy hunt on the ground, and a big group of deer ended up coming in, it was really cool, and there's gonna be a part two to this video, and that's what I want to mention to you, um, by the time you guys are watching this, it may already be up on the YouTube channel, and it is the second part of our, our hunt today where we do a deer drive um, yeah I'm not gonna say any more except it was fun and you guys are gonna have to watch it if you want to find out today is the second to last day of deer season in Illinois it's about 3 in the morning if we don't get anything on the ground this morning we're gonna try a uh, try a deer drive Josh and Brian, we're all meeting at the farm here in about 10 minutes. It's about 5.15 in the morning. We'll make sure we got everything. And we're gonna go meat collecting, because that's the best way to do it. Don't like buying that assembly line garbage at the store. It just ain't good for you. We made it, and we're here. Excuse me, sir. This is private property. This is the last good day. Tomorrow's gonna be freezing. Yeah. <laughs> Did you bring your bow or your gun? I got both. I got the gun. Got it all. What if a squirrel comes? 
<laughs> it, went, it turns into a small game hunt. <laughs> so we've been jacking around now, and it's probably Why by the we... moon. I'd say it's about six fifteen. Right. He's one person you don't want somebody trying to guess time when you don't have a clock with you <laughs> or directions. But we won't hey. go there. <laughs> I have on my permanent memory a time on a public land spot where Tom got us lost. <laughs> it was daylight and we were walking around wondering where we were. <laughs> it happens when you're stoned on hunt fumes. <laughs> Usually it's me. I didn't second guess it. Anyway, me and Tom are the only ones with tags left because we didn't shoot anything during gun season. We got bow tags and gun tags. And something needs to go down today. It has to happen. We have the to make the it camera happen. guy's starving. He has an an empty deer hanger in the garage right now. We got bows. We got we got, we we got, got guns, guns. We got snack sticks. We got stools. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all sitting together. It's going to be an extra cheesy hunt. So hopefully some deer are going to pour yeah, into it. We got an Athens bow. We got a Matthews bow. We got a Remington, and we got a Mossberg. We're we trying them people. all.
seen it. I spread the scent and they came. <laughs> That's crazy. I thought for sure one of them was gonna look right up at us. Yeah, I started to like to move in so there I could was a big swivel one. around. I know. And you're like, hold still, hold like, Josh, don't move. Because I could see your hand moving out of my <laughs> peripheral. Like I didn't even have my gun. Cause you could, I know the tree was in between us. So you couldn't necessarily tell that I wasn't on a deer ready to shoot. Right. And so that's just like, don't move. Don't well, then, move And then picking out which one you were gonna shoot. Yeah. I'm not even sure. I think I got the one on, on video that you shot. Because there was a couple of deer in the frame when you shot. Okay. So That's safer to zoom out a little bit. I did a little bit. And, and she kicked. I, I believe that one kicked. And... We hunted real cheesy this morning. <laughs> up in my favorite spot on this whole farm. Well, how long did we... We sat up there in the trucks like... Uh, 35, 40 35 minutes. 35 or 40 minutes. Tom knew where he was going. Right here. And I couldn't decide. I thought, you know, part of you when you're hunting, you want to do it big time, right? Like, you don't want to go sit in some cheesy spot. You want to go <laughs> hunt in a stand that you got a big range of shots and some stand you've worked real hard and you got all the shooting lanes. And, and it's food in food plot and everything food else. Food plot, <laughs> the best spot on the farm, right? So you come to late season like this and we're trying to decide where to go you want a guaranteed shot yeah and then also we got two guns so we're like you know we should probably split up and that makes our chance better and uh i ended up you know just saying screw it and i'm just gonna come up here and sit with josh and tom um in the in the cheesy spot that's the closest to our trucks where we park i don't know seems to be a pretty constant funnel for them one of these days you're gonna believe me <laughs> hey, that. Can you do that again? <laughs> nope. Video once, proof. Once in a lifetime patch up. Anyway, I got my vest up there too. There's there's about eight of them. Honestly, I didn't think we were going to kill one this morning. I thought we were going to have to wait till the deer drives, but luckily we still got one tag left and uh, for gun, and we'll still get to do our deer drive. Um, I put it on her with the. Uh, Mossberg 12 gauge. I didn't realize how freaking big she was. She's a giant. Yeah, I, she's big. She made my vast deference tickle a little bit when I seen her. I think, I always say this, but I think she's the biggest doe I've ever killed. I mean, no long arm shots on No this long one. arm shots with this baby. I mean, cheese. <laughs> Talking about this moment right here. When you shoot. You finally, you, you get a deer on the ground after all this freaking work. I mean, I've been like eight times, I haven't seen a single deer. Oh my God, <laughs> Load your gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she ain't going nowhere. Her <laughs> bags are deflated. Anyway, I mean, I don't know. It seems silly to people that don't understand, but this moment right here, suddenly every, when, I, when you got the animal here and you're here with your buddies, Everything just seems calm, peaceful, and warm, and you just kind of want to lay back and just take, take, a a nap, yeah. take a nap. And Those of you who don't do it, find somebody who does do it and go with them and try it. <laughs> the lungs are hiding behind that shoulder, so with a bow, you kind of got to tuck back or try to angle it up in there, but with this, these 12 gauge arrows, you can, you can smoke it through the shoulder. That's easier. <laughs> We'd, yeah, I've we'd been like out here thank, like two times this year. and We'd like to thank our, our guide service, yep. Tom, this and, morning for uh, and now shortly, putting us on gonna, these does. We're going to break out Nick's sticks. I wish we could just hibernate and wake up and all of a sudden October's here again. <laughs> I know, then we'd miss mushroom season. And fishing? Yeah, we got some fishing videos to make. I'm curious to plug in my zoom controller to Tom's camera and see how it works. I'm curious to be curious. 
What'd you say? You're bi curious. You got to be something. You might as well be bi curious. <laughs> you got. You can't have this much fun sleeping in and going to the grocery store to get your meat. Look at that big... I, I seen all them deer come out. I was like, man, you see the slice of cheese on her back? <laughs> Wrapped some bacon around them hams. I think, I think I was just kind of in shock. That it worked out like that? that deer were coming in. I, I wasn't like, in shock. I just didn't know if they were going to come at 8 or 10 or... Yeah. Guy Tom knew. I keep telling them about the cheesy spot, and they're here every time. They come in to sunbathe. Unless I were to hunt it a few times, and they'd pick a new cheesy spot, maybe. <laughs> Did you shake that a few times? Uh, only twice. If you shake it more than twice, you're playing with it. Okay. We're, we're waiting on Mr. Factor. I'm not sure what kind of factor he's imposing on us today. <laughs> Eating and looking. I thought for sure that one up there by the oak tree, when she's looking that at the us. One? See, she, her head was behind a tree. She couldn't see me at all. When you she said she's look, looking. She was looking right at me. I thought, I figured, I felt like, it felt like she was just looking right at my Listen eye. to that squeak. What is it? Is it just my sh my struts or whatever, shock? Like your springs or So you're serious about having to check and look see if your wife's water. gonna have your next child? We yeah. should have sat up on top. There we go, there's your perfect editor, the guy that can't leave the house because his wife has four kids at home. Dope. All he can do is edit videos from you guys, hon. Me and Josh will keep the stuff rolling. <laughs> We're gonna have to Thanks. go. appreciate it. it. Brian's gonna drive home with a certain kind of test. <laughs> Maybe he'll tweet us later, the results. That'll determine whether he hunts next year or not. Yeah. She already took it. She's pregnant. Congratulations. Are you serious? Yeah. You are need we, another son. Are we the only ones that know? Yep. It's a good day. I killed, and I'm a dad. Again. Again. Over and over again. Hey, hey here's the... Buggers. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get those buggers. Hey, let me get those buggers. I gotta get those boogers out. Yes, I do. I got them. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Well, thanks for watching uh, this video. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, without without the viewers, we would have no show. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to us, go down here and click subscribe on YouTube and, and follow us. And uh, if you want to check us out on Facebook, we do a lot more more day-to-day -day, um, type videos, pictures, stories, and things like that on, uh, on the Facebook page. So uh, go check us out there, and we'll see you next time. Tell them bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. We'll see you later, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to bring my bow because I don't want it to be like that. One year we, I was doing a deer drive to snake. And then I shot the deer with my bow when I'm doing the drive. <laughs> yeah, that pissed me off. The he's driver's like, not supposed to like, kill the deer. And he's like, You're oh yeah, you move. really. Because where they bed usually is way back by the river. And then we push it this way. We got Tom standing on top of the tripod and I'm ready to go. Man. <laughs> them are one ounce, all lead snow. There's, there's, wow. a, there's a whole piece of her leg. <laughs> That's just some impressive hunting, though, you guys. I mean, really? Yeah, well, yeah, when you. I mean, when you set it up like that and it happened exactly like that, not once, but twice. That's right. All in the same morning. It's you know even... your woods, and you know the deer. Yep. And the, Thank you.